Hello folks, well, welcome to the Winking Pig Barbecue. My name's Chuck, Chuck Newt. I'm here to take you on a little journey today. We're going to do a little smoking, we're going to do a little cast iron work. We're going to be making smoked coney dogs. <laughs> I know, smoked coney dogs. So at any rate, we are going to start by smoking the hamburger that goes in onto the coney dogs. I've already taken the meat from the package and I've put it in, broken it up into the cast iron here. And we're going to add a little salt and pepper to it. And then we're going to take it out and we're going to put it onto the smoker for about three hours. I've already got the fire burning in the smoker out there. And I've got the meat into the cast iron skillet here. The cast iron is going to work just fine out there on the smoker. It's, the heat's not going to bother it or anything. But in actuality, I'm planning on keeping the meat temperature or the smoker temperature at 225 250 if I can keep it there I'm gonna be using kind of a, I guess a snake method sort of kind of sort of <laughs> on this smoker deal out here I've got some lump charcoal going out there and then I'm gonna be using some mesquite wood on it first things first we're gonna get some spice on this hamburger here and then we're gonna take it out there and put it out onto the onto the smoker so let's get turned around see what we're doing here Okay, so I've got about one pound of hamburger here. I know that because I weighed it. And I've got some of this smoked sea salt that I made the other day. And if you haven't seen that video, you can find it up here in the top right hand corner. I'm just going to put about, I'm going to say a teaspoon in there. It doesn't matter that I didn't spread it. It'll get spread. And then I've also got a little bit left over of the smoked crushed black peppercorns from where I made the cacio e pepe the other night. If you haven't seen that video, you can find it up in the top right hand corner as well. I'm just going to put that black pepper in there. And I think I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic in here. Maybe one good clove. Let me get this garlic unwrapped and we'll dice it up here in a sec. All right, I got this, uh, I got the skin taken off of the garlic clove here. I'm just going to chop it up kind of fine here. That's the root end there. I don't want that. We don't have to be too crazy on it. It's going to be in the cook long enough. It's pretty well going to fall apart anyhow. All right, so we are ready to go ahead and take this out here to the smoker. Okay, folks, so we got our meat out here on the on the grate, and I've got it the furthest away from the fire in the in the smoke in the cook chamber here. And I'll be breaking this up as we go along here. My handy, trusty, dandy spatula here, and I've got my thermometer sitting out here on the probes right there behind the skillet. All right, so got my fire going over here and in just a minute I'm gonna get a couple of wood chunks. I've got some mesquite over here we're gonna get put on here. And I'm gonna tell you when I originally put these coals on here I thought I had an amazingly large pile of charcoal in this smoker and it has burnt down tremendously. I mean and quickly at that. So I'm going to put a little more charcoal on yet and we'll be monitoring. All right, folks. So it's been about an hour and holy cow, I have not chopped this up at all, but it certainly needs chopped. And you can see the smoke on this hamburger. Ooh, that's warm. Okay. So I've got to put some more charcoal and wood on the fire here. All right, folks. Now then, maybe you can see the smoke on this meat in here. It's exactly what we're wanting. It's starting to look good. It's been two hours now. We're going to be making an addition to the meat. I'll get to that in just a minute. In the meantime, though, I need to go ahead and add a little more wood, charcoal to the fire. And we'll be back. Okay, folks, so a few weeks ago, I did some research on coney dogs. And the reason being is because I wanted to know what the difference was between a coney dog and a chili dog. And it turns out there is no technical difference. I guess I don't know how that could be, 
but that's what my research showed is that a chili dog and a coney dog are one and the same and they actually come originate i guess from detroit and which seems odd also now in my mind there is a difference between a coney dog and a chili dog a chili dog is made with chili and a coney dog in my mind at least is made more like with a sloppy joe in kind of a manwich style of flavored meat topping for a coney dog and that's basically what i'm going to be making here in fact here in just a minute if you recall the how to make a great barbecue sauce video we're going to be using some of that barbecue sauce here so let's get turned around and we'll get this stuff together to take out to the grill all right folks so i got myself a couple jalapenos here and about half an onion and I'm going to go ahead and get this onion diced up. I just sharpened my knife earlier and it's working just fine. There we go. Diced onion. I'm going to slice these jalapenos. Tried to get my glove there. In fact, there was a piece of blue in there. That's the problem with slicing jalapenos. So I've got one of these. Put some jalapenos in. Probably got way more onion than's going to fit in this little this little bowl here. We'll stack it up. We'll use it down to where I can put the lid on it. Now then. I think I want about a cup of this barbecue sauce that we made. There we go. Now most of the liquid has dried out of our meat here, which is a good thing. There's just a little grease left in there. Oh, well. we're going to stir in our barbecue sauce here. Handle is hot. Imagine that. It's only been in the smoker for two and a half hours. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put a little more charcoal on this. And a couple pieces of wood. Not a lot. Just maybe a couple like that. And then I'm going to put my second grate. Done enough. Oh yeah. All right, I think it's time to take those inside. Take those inside. Then we'll come back out here and get our 
come back out here and get our Coney Dog mix. Okay, folks. I think it looks good. So off we go. Okay, folks. So I got myself a plate here with two buns on it. Because nobody can eat just one. I will pick up a dog. And a dog. And let me tell you, my house smells just like campfire hot dogs. We're going to put some of this Coney sauce right there like that. Do it up. If you got leftover sauce, you can freeze it. Make sloppy joes out of it. However you want to go about it. Now I'll come in with Two of these jalapenos. Not like that. A little bit of onion on the top. Not too much. Just enough to give it a little flavor. There we go, folks. It looks good to me. All right, folks. So there you go. Those are some good-looking dogs, aren't they? And I've added some broccoli raisin salad here and a spaghetti salad. In case you haven't seen that video, you can look up in the right-hand corner on how to make this spaghetti salad. Alright folks, it's time to taste this stuff. Let's get turned around. Alright folks, well, this has kind of been one of those days where things just don't go exactly smooth. But, you know what? All can be forgiven if the food turns out good. Folks, that hot dog tastes perfect. A good smoke flavor on the meat sauce. And a little bit of onion, a little bit of jalapeno. That's the real deal right here, folks. And let's let me tell you, uh, nothing's going to go to waste here. As you see, I topped it off with some broccoli raisin salad and some, uh, and some of my spaghetti salad. And I'm about ready to sit down and lay waste to this with a good beer. Folks, do me a favor. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner. If you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe. <laughs> yes. Hit like and subscribe. And stay tuned. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching.